this is a ddr2 ram okay with working voltage as you can see of 1.8 volt this is the connector for the ram cn13 okay and over here as you can see this is the working the main power 1.8 volt so this kind of ram is ddr2 as you can see here we have ddr2 okay so you can check this voltage in the network resistors as you can see this kind of component are network resistors okay. So it is easy to upgrade the RAM as you can see. So here as you can see this is a DDR2 RAM okay with working voltage as you can see of 1.8 volt. 1.8 volt is the working voltage for DDR2 RAM as you can see. And in this motherboard for example we have the DDR3 as you can see. We have DDR3 with working voltage of 1.5 volts. Here also in this motherboard we have RAM random access memory. This is DDR1 random access memory. As you can see here we have 1.8 volt. Okay, so you can easily upgrade the random access memory or the RAM for your laptop by changing the RAM. For example, we have this RAM as you can see with 1 gigabyte as you can see. You can use another RAM with 2 gigabyte or even 4 gigabytes. Of course, you can check also the frequency of the RAM. But you cannot use here instead of DDR1, you cannot use DDR3 or DDR4 or DDR5. Because this slot is just for DDR1 RAM. So for example, this motherboard is for DDR3 RAM. And here we have the DDR1 RAM, as you can see. You cannot connect it, as you can see. Here we have the difference between this part in the slot and this part in the RAM. So to upgrade the random access memory in the laptop motherboard, you can just improve the size. You can use another size. Instead of, for example, one gigabyte, you can use two or four gigabytes. The most used RAMs are DDR1 with working voltage of 2.5 volt. D DR2 with working voltage of 1.8 volts. DDR3 with working voltage of 1.5 volt. DDR4 with working voltage of 1.2 volt. And DDR5 with working voltage of 1.1 volt so this is main voltage but the ram also need another voltage to work properly the vtt or the voltage for terminals so for ddr1 the vtt is the half of the main voltage so 1.75 volts for ddr2 0.9 volt for ddr3 0.75 volt for ddr4 0.6 volt and for ddr5 0.55 volt so DDR1 2.5 volt. So this is an example. This is a motherboard with DDR1 RAMs. As you can see in the slot, I have here 2.5 volt. As you can see, 
2.5 volt. So for DDR2, 1.8 volt. This is an example. As you can see, 1.8 volt. So DDR3 with 1.5 volt. This is an example. As you can see here, 1.5 volt. And for DDR4, 1.2 volt, and DDR5, 1.1 volt. This is a very improved RAMS. So here, as you can see, this is basically the RAM slot. Okay, this is the connector for the RAM CN13. Okay, and over here, as you can see, this is the working, the main power, 1.8 volt. So this kind of RAM is ddr2 as you can see here we have ddr2 okay so this is the main the main voltage okay and here as you can see we have the vtt the voltage for terminals okay so this voltage so you can check this voltage in the network resistors as you can see this kind of component are network resistors okay so you can find this network resistors over the ram chip okay as you can see also you can check this voltage on the ceramic capacitors on the ram chip okay so the rams also or the random access memory can cause failure or a not working laptop so as you can see here, we have the RAM, the random access memory. As you can see for this laptop, you can open it or remove it just by pulling the two sides terminals. Here we have, as you can see, the RAM, okay, connections, as you can see, the RAM connections. So if you have a problem with the RAM, you can just clean the RAMs and the RAM slots, because sometimes when you have some dirt in the RAM slots this can cause the problem in the laptop that's why you should always check it and clean it